County dropped slightly in 2012. In 2011, nine people were killed, and last year, only four people died in drunk driving related crashes. There wasn't a big drop in the number of people injured from 122 people in 2011 to 121 people hurt last year. We're following a developing story on NBC 26. New information on a federal investigation going on in the Fox Valley. Tuesday, neighbors in the town of Harrison were shocked to see local and federal agents searching this home. We learned tonight more than one search warrant was executed. NBC 26's Jonathan Gregg is live in the newsroom with a story only on NBC 26. That's right, Casey. Fox Valley Metro Police say four search warrants were actually executed at three different residential properties and and that their investigation centers around immigration. Residents on Red Clover Trail were caught off guard Tuesday morning to see federal agents moving in and out of this home. I noticed them going through their car and putting everything out on the ground and putting it in bags. Tax records show this home is owned by a Keith Meyer. Now Fox Valley Metro Police say it wasn't the only home searched. Police say they also searched a home on North Wilson Street in Kimberly. Tax records show Keith Meyer owns this home on Wilson. And neighbors tell us off camera that officers were here Tuesday morning around 8 a.m., approximately the same time agents were seen at the Harrison home. As of right now, it's a partnership amongst. Um you know, like I said, HSI, FBI, DCI, and us. HSI is the Department of Homeland Security and Immigration. Fox Valley Metro now says immigration is a focal point of this investigation. Mr. Meyer also owns this building across the street from North Wilson. It's the location of Yen's Chinese Buffet. In a phone interview today with NBC26, Keith Meyer says tenants of this Wilson Street home are the employees at the restaurant Yen's Chinese Buffet. Police have not identified the people involved in this investigation. They have not indicated that Meyer, his business, or any employees are part of their investigation at this time. Police also say they collected a lot of evidence after they executed their search warrants and that they're currently sorting through all of it. At this time, no arrests or citations have been issued. We'll keep following this story and bringing more information as it becomes available. Reporting live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Jonathan Gregg, NBC 26.